Welcome back our players to a brand new video now today we have the new community crunch 411 I am very tired as it is around about quarter past two in the UK but we always have to wait a long time for the community crunch here in the UK but I am so excited to read you guys an update on the Shastasaurus. Now, when I when I when I tell you when I saw an update on a Shastasaurus, I was so scared. I thought they were going to delay the Shastasaurus, but no, I can confirm that is not the case. And it is a first look into something they have never done before. And I can't wait to read it to you guys. Look at this awesome picture. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new around here for your daily Ark Survival Ascended news. Well, I say daily, but not as daily at the moment, but it will be when the center comes out. Um, so welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. With the launch of the center map just around the corner on June 4th, we wanted to share some insight about the Shastasaurus and how its design evolved during the development process. The Shasta and, it, and namely, namely its saddle is one of the more ambitious designs we've done and the team really enjoyed the challenge. So two key areas we had to resolve relating to making sure the saddle actually functioned like the submarine below the body as you can see, i.e. keeping water out while the creature moves etc. Except for etc. Except, why can't I say it? <laughs> and how players and creatures moved inside the sub itself. The first challenge required both a shift in overall design of the saddle and te a tech solution and as we learned pretty quickly that having it on top of the creature wasn't going to be viable so we had to redesign it to be under the Shasta instead. This change allowed us to ensure that we could keep the water outside of the saddle at all times and also eliminate the edge cases relating to the submarine being particularly submerged. Tackling player and creature movement was purely a technology driven solution. We rewrote some of the basing code, the logic that relates to what characters are standing based on uh, of Unreal when, play, when in different physics modes like falling, jumping, essentially creating a basing system, a new basing system, specifically when based inside of the new saddle. This was definitely one of the more challenging creatures we've designed, so please excuse us for geeking out a little bit. So now you've heard the ins and outs of how we tamed the mighty Shastasaurus and its sub-aquatic saddle. It's your turn next. We can't wait to see you cruising in the seas in the Shasta style, style on June 4th. So no need to worry if anyone has seen a massive pop-up on their screen saying an update on the Shastasaurus. It's not... A delay it is a really cool new saddle design which i can't wait do you know what i've actually wanted something like this in so so long having my own like safety submarine in the oceans of arc where you've got your shastasaurus above you and it's gonna be so fun really can't wait to ch uh, try out unfortunately there's really really sad thing about the launch of the center and i actually feel like wildcard check what i'm doing with my life uh, because that for some reason over the years They've always seemed to put dates for when I'm on holiday, um, but I will be covering content. Don't worry. So I'm bringing my part set up with me, not my PC, um, but I'm bringing my laptop with me and some other bits of like editing bits and stuff. So I will be covering content while I'm on holiday. So don't worry. So like all the updates you need will be there. Um, um, as I said, I can never get away from it. I love what I do. And uh, yeah, but it is, um, it is frustrating. That I won't be able to do content because unfortunately, at this current moment in time, I can't afford like a $4,000 laptop as much as I really, really, really want one to run Arc. Um, and there was a new mod spotlight. Um, this video features um, modern structure skins, dedicated storage skins, um, Reverence Cosmetics, Sunken World Editions. Oh, Sunken World. Would love to see it. Uh, Japanese Temples, Proximity Mines, and Paleo Arc Evolution, the Apex Predators. And there is new custom cosmetics for official servers, the Reverence Cosmetics, uh, modern day structure skins, and dedicated storage skins. And then, why don't we give this a little bit of a watch? Right, let's give it a watch now. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, let's hop in. I have to say as well, big shout to Neddy. Um, I didn't even know Neddy was involved in this trailer, but um, I did see that it was uploaded on his channel. So that's really cool. Shout out to you, Neddy.
Oh wait, I just started speaking again. I was just saying big shout out to Moro. Um, I absolutely love Moro. Such a talented creator. That trailer is insane. Like that is so cool. It says dive into the depths of Ark and the incredible new Leviathan premium mod available now on Steam and Xbox and coming to PlayStation with the launch of premium mods. Unleash the Leviathan, the massive tooth whale is a force to be reckoned with. We'll cover its unique abilities from bone crushing bites to sonic blasts and how we make the most of them in battle. Master the sound pad. Taming a Leviathan is no easy task, but we'll guide you through the mini games and sound waves needed to win its trust. Get ready for Symphony of Survival. Craft and Conquer. Explore new crafting uh, custom um, mechanics and build powerful saddles, weapons and armor to make your Leviathan unstoppable. Prepare for epic underwater battles and face the Alpha Leviathan. Gather your dino army and dive into the depths to face the ultimate challenge, the Alpha Leviathan boss. Claim valuable resources and unlock advanced technology. Mods are going insane in Ark Survival Ascended. It's so cool to see. I'm really happy. Conquest, conquest servers, sorry, are coming. Um, and um, I guess these are the new ones, right? Yeah, times five harvesting, taming, breeding, um, which is really nice. This is for PC. And then the Arcpocalypse have been wiped today. Uh, bonus times two until Tuesday, the 28th of May. And yeah, um, I think that's everything we need to cover today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, and I hope you all have fantastic weekends. Now, I'm going to go and grab myself some sleep, just having a little look through the awesome artwork. And I'm excited, guys. The center's not long away. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to actually play the center until i get back from my holiday but it's fine it's fine um i'll be laying back i'll be creating content for you guys on news um but i'll be laying back and watching all your guys thoughts and feelings on the map and uh some really awesome videos that i can't wait to watch uh, when it launches so thank you very much for watching i'll catch you guys in my next video very soon see you guys then